Okay, so here we have the screen recording. I'm going to introduce Bibisco. I had some previous uh, work up here on YouTube and some people were kind of critical. First off, it had a uh, uh, problem with the microphone and it took me, it's been a couple years or more since I uploaded uh, this tutorial kind of thing and what I did is I finally got a new microphone and life is kind of slowed down a little bit for me so now I am going to try to remake this again one critic said that I had just told him what he could read which you know that's fine if he feels that way but some of it to me isn't always uh, that easy to figure out so let's go back let's uh, we can close this I don't even know if it saved it I just kind of closed it so first we're gonna open up Babisco here and let's see do we have a project close yes we have a project Snow White so let's open this one and so that's what happens if you open a project now I can go here and let's close it out again and I want to go over again open it here and you can create a new project I haven't done this yet and so it's a sequel which imports the characters and locations of the objects and such and import and your settings here let's see settings how you want your theme what your language is where you're going to store it and so forth it's important to note that when you select your language it doesn't change you can't change it later so there's some choices of language all right let's go back go back and We'll try again and this time I'm just doing a very short thing about Snow White just you know and this will want you to follow them on social media and don't tell them again and it keeps saying don't tell them okay let's open up a project we already started and now what happens is what I'm showing you is you can apply to a new project as well first it's going to come up and it's going to say you have to give your project a name let me uh, go back and we'll we'll just do it the whole way we're gonna call we're gonna create a new project we're gonna call it snow white 2 well that's not a 2 and then we save it here it tells you to make sure you've got the correct language otherwise you can't change it and this is your novel now here's some tips you don't I don't think we need tips we go up here and we should be able to click architecture and this is the first part so describe the novel in the first scene now these it says these are to do and you are gonna have to change these all right, n narrative strand, let's just go with premise. Here you have to click get started. Otherwise you'll just sit here forever. You can't click up here, it doesn't work, get started. And then here we go to this settings and we go, what's the font size, what's our font, and paragraph indent, spell check, and auto save. All right, let's uh, evil queen wants to kill Snow White for people who are beginning or whatever. And I'm not going to, you know, this is just an example. You have to figure out your conflict and your resolution and you put it in here. You have click the save or control s right here and click it it saves and then it goes like this and you can't do it again you can go back 
and you have to go up here and this not yet complete and this is completed if it's not yet complete it changes to that and it'll show up when we go back to architecture right here you can go back and see right here it says it's not completed yet which means you have to go back and fix it finally when you're done you put ok and you move on to the next one and by moving on to the next one first you have to go back and then you'll move to the next one the next one is logical event again click start get started we can go over here and we can just uh, select something and just anything and I'm not sure if there's a limit on this and go down here and pick up we can post it in here and don't pay attention to the words they're just there to give you an example <clears throat> uh, but you want the narration of events uh, so forth then you save it again if you're done go ahead and click OK and then go back to architecture and move on now I think if you can go back to this and you can still edit it even if it says okay this okay is just to let you know that you're done with it you're not you don't want to make any more the setting get started click again save it again and we're done with it go back and your architecture is done you have narrative strands here and the narrative strand you can figure that out and you you know just type it up and save it and there you go and you're uh, again don't forget to click OK or it's gonna remind you now characters main character create your first character of course is Snow White and I'm just type snow because we don't have a lot of time I keep forgetting to do okay no she's not done so go back <clears throat> add another character queen evil queen if you want save it all right go back and in the original story they were named after the days of the week uh, by the Grimm's brothers this is, can't use Disney's because Disney has a copyright all right so it's Sunday through Saturday down here for your secondary characters. And when you're done with that, <clears throat> you can keep going with the location, create a location. I just went down here and I got the castle. Save the castle. Uh, I'm finished with the castle. Don't forget the finish. Uh, go back to locations here, add another one. And we have in the forest, and we got the cottage, and we save it, <clears throat> and it'll it gives you these little hints. You can drag and drop to reorganize locations. So uh, close that, and drag that, and drop it over here, and drag it and drop it over here. All right. This you can ask for a tip. You can add, you can create more locations and it's got some shortcuts <clears throat> but the system is kind of uh, okay I've got to stop the first video and I'll be back with the second video